Hi guys and welcome to another video in the No Hands SEO tutorial series. In this video I'll be going through what settings I personally use on my VPS to get really good backlinks which I found will really help bolster and improve my search engine rankings and increase the traffic to my websites. Okay, now this isn't going to be an in-depth uh, video about what each setting does. There is another video for that. It's really quite long but if you're wanting to know the intricacies of each different setting I advise you go and look at that now but in this video I'll just be showing you what settings I personally use that I found over the last two years of using this tool what really works and what will get me some really good backlinks okay so I'm going to start off with the app settings here now I'll leave nearly all of it as default apart from the ping confirmed links option here now I disable that because I don't want No Hands SEO to spend time that it could be using on searching and posting to different websites. I don't want it spent pinging the, the links that it's made. Now, it doesn't mean that my links won't get pinged and it doesn't mean that they won't get noticed. It just means that I'll be using a separate tool to do that, okay? I'll be using No Hands Pinger to, uh, to ping all of my links and it's a, a free tool that you can get from nohandspinger.com all you need to do is go in there and uh, put in your, your email address and you'll instantly get sent a download link. So if you go over to nohandspinger.com you can get that for free. So we'll uncheck that and then we'll go to the, the more tab. Now the post in threads and the search in threads it really depends on what proxy settings you are using at the time. Okay I use 60 um, mainly because it's a relatively low number and it can be used on most uh, most internet connections or most broadband internet connections and the allowed searching threads five threads should be fine for around 15 to 30 proxies which is what I'll be using in this test okay and I'll, I'll leave the or I'll set the the max words per key uh, search keyword as three because I don't want exceptionally long search keywords because they tend to return very few results right I'll leave the the connection timeout the read write timeout and the delay between searches I'll leave them as default and in the miscellaneous settings I'll just enable use gzip compression because that will generally speed up um, the searching and posting and, and lots of the different things that no hands SEO does uh, there's very little downside to doing that so I'd advise checking that in the prevent posting settings I'll set the maximum outbound links to 250 now this will prevent um, posting to sites that are heavily spammed now often you'll find that if um, if a website has an auto approved comments page or, or something like that then often it will be found and added to a, a public AA list or an auto approved list and then people will download it and just spam it to hell so the really there's no SEO benefit that you're going to get from a page with a thousand or more backlinks so to prevent that from happening I'll set that at maximum 250 links per, um, outbound links per page and it it basically ensures that the links I'm getting are at least decent or very good now I don't bother with a minimum page rank I just don't because who's to say that a, a web page or a website with zero page rank today is not necessarily going to be zero page rank tomorrow so I don't find that that really helps anything by setting a limit there. Now as far as capture solvers go this really is an option. You're not going to double or triple the amount of links that you get, your link quality is not going to be exceptionally higher by using a capture solver but it will help to get a few extra links, it will help to get a little bit of extra quality in your links because you'll be able to target websites that have a capture um, on their comment form or submission form. Um, now there's absolutely nothing wrong with using a tool like Capture Sniper or GSA's Capture Breaker, you can use that. Um, if you're doing so, I wouldn't advise setting a minimum page rank or a maximum outbound link because you're not paying per capture solved, so you may as well just um, let that post to any of them. If for instance you were to use one of the, the pay per um, capture solvers such as Death by Capture Image Typers, Shani BPO or, and so on, you may want to set a minimum page rank or a, a maximum outbound link that's lower than your current maximum outbound link but really 
I, I find generally Capture Sniper or, or other tools which are able to be used like Capture Sniper are, are nearly as effective anyway and you only have to pay for them once so you don't need to worry about a monthly um, cost. Okay, so moving on and go to the profile settings. Now what these do is, is relatively complicated so I'm not going to go into details now but I generally will use around 11% for generic, 7% for domain, 12% for capitalization and 4% for names. It essentially means that 40% or so, I mean I'm not counted it up, but 40% or so um, of my posts will have some sort of extra randomization which means that it's going to take up the slack from my anchor text if I've only put in say 10 anchor text it's going to really vary those few anchor texts that I've used for each profile so um, Google really seems to be enjoying um, websites with really varied backlink profiles at the minute so it's really really advised to set them it doesn't have to be exactly those numbers but somewhere around there should be good to go okay for indexing I mentioned earlier that I'm using no hands pinger for doing the pinging it takes very little setup it's free go go download it from nohandspinger.com um, and all you need to do to integrate it is to check the send confirm links to nohandspinger option <clears throat> with uh, no hands indexer it's a, a single payment it's similar to the other indexers in that it will go that little bit further than just simply pinging your links okay so you'll end up generating anywhere from 400 to about 800 links most of them being do follow to your linking pages now what that does is it gives those pages that are linking to your websites that little bit of extra ranking boost which means that they should be able to pass on that bit more uh, ranking effectiveness to your your pages so as I say it's twenty dollars it's it's a one-time payment it's much cheaper than the others which are verging on twenty dollars each I forget exactly but um, if you're interested you can click on what is backlinks index or linklicious indexification or lindex to get more information about what they are and how much they cost and where you can get them from if you'd rather go down um, a hosted solution like one of those but if you're happy to just run another tool on your system and you want something that's a little bit cheaper you can go for no hands indexer you can get that from nohandsindexer.com and, and all you need to do to set that up is just tick the box there okay now these are largely um, optional but they can help to get your links indexed as well as give them a little bit of extra um, ranking benefit to go along with that okay as far as platforms go again it's it depends on what you want you if you want just do follow links you can simply um, right click and you get the, this pop-up menu here which lets you select all do follow no which will select all of the different sites which don't give you do follow links and then you can just uncheck it and then if you save the settings you'll see down here it will change the number of platforms to any second out there we go 31 now what that means is that you are only going to get um, backlinks from pro uh, platforms where there is at least a good chance of getting a do follow link now with that setting you'll get somewhere in the region of 60 to 80 percent do follow links which is definitely in in the high range that's not necessarily a bad thing but personally I prefer to get um, as many links as possible so I, I'd be more inclined to have all of them checked or if I was to disable any it'd be some of the guestbook platforms where they use pages and that's purely because this the platforms where they use pages for your links it just makes it harder to um, track those links as time goes on nothing wrong with that the links will still be there you'll still be getting good links from them it's just that they're not easier to keep track of okay so ultimately I'd suggest leaving all of them active or if you're really going for quality just remove all of them where they're not do follow links okay now add and block lists I'll leave as they are there's nothing wrong with them if you're really wanting to um, get specific links or perhaps you're 
using no hands SEO to get links to clients websites you might want to limit by bad words in which case you could put in you know all your different adult related or pharmacy related gambling related keywords in that list and that will really lower the amount of links you get and I haven't really found uh, much of a difference in the ranking benefit from sites that don't have bad words compared to ones that do have bad words. I, I just haven't noticed any sort of difference. I've certainly not seen any sort of penalty from having a link from a website that has, you know, rude words or anything like that. So personally, I'd leave that blank, leave it all as default. I wouldn't bother changing that. Spinners, again, it's a totally optional thing. It will help you to write your custom comments. Um, if, if that's the way you're going but really you can all do you can do that totally manually if you wanted you don't need the spinners they're not going to get you any extra links it just helps when you're setting up your profiles okay so I will be doing a, a video where uh, later on down the line which will show you how to use the different spinners more effectively but for now I'll leave them as is now proxies this is one of the more important things um, if if for instance you're wanting to use more than just one or two searching threads you will need to be using proxies personally I won't use the built-in proxy harvester because the proxies that they're just not as reliable as ones that you pay for monthly and they're not even as reliable as ones that are pulled from a tool such as proxy goblin or proxy multiply okay now the best option would always be to have uh, private proxies that you're paying for that nobody else is using and the reason for that is that they're not going to get limited by the search engines nearly as often uh, they're not going to be listed in any sort of um, spam list or anything like that which you might get with public proxies now tools like proxy goblin and proxy multiply can be used to get lots of um, proxies but you do need to set them up correctly there is a guide in the support forum which goes through all of that but this video is just me showing how I use it so here it is for proxies I I won't load them in through a file I'll simply paste them in and I'll use the the private proxies because that's what I'm using them for and I'll use these proxies for searching posting um, not pinging not link checking and for PR checking the reason I'll only use it for searching, posting and PR checking is that um, Google will only and Yahoo will only allow so many searches um, per IP address so you'll get limited if you're not using it for searching which means that you won't be getting any targets which means you won't be getting any links. I use proxies for posting mainly because it does generally help to get more links accepted um, and also you're not having your own personal IP address listed on any um, uh, comment list such as a Kismet. It just means that you're going to get a slightly higher amount of, of comments and links in the long run. Okay, there's no need to have it checked for link checking because all that will do is you'll be visiting the website, you'll be more or less anonymous it'll only be doing that one visit to the website just to check that the links there so there's no need to hide your IP address in that respect and uh, I uncheck for pinging simply because no hands SEO isn't going to be doing the pinging I'll have no hands pinger doing that for me and I'll enable the the proxies for PR checking purely because again Google will only allow so many um, page rank requests per IP address in a certain given time. Now I know I don't have that set up in this instance but for example if I was to be using um, a different capture solver other than capture sniper or if I was a user that was limiting by uh, a minimum of page rank then I'd need to check that there so that is all of the settings that I would use for myself that's how I use it in um, my VPS. I will be using more proxies than the 15 that are listed here but that should be enough to show you exactly what I use to get no hands SEO set up and within 15 minutes you can have your own version of no hands SEO set up and then you can start adding your profiles and then from that moment on all you need to do is load no hands SEO and press start and it will just run for you 24 hours a day or for as a for however long you want it to to get as many links as you want to your website okay 
I hope that's been helpful to some people and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.